Hello and welcome to Grim Reactions. Today we're watching episode 5 of WandaVision. So in episode 4 we kind of got a summary of episode 1, 2, 3 from the outside perspective, from the outside of the sword agents. So now we have established that Wanda is in control and now the characters in the universe, the characters in the show know that Wanda is in control of what's going on. The, the question that I still have is if Wanda is doing it on if Wanda is doing it on purpose if like she engineered this whole thing and who uh, like so did, did she go crazy or did she like think that I've sacrificed enough I deserve some happiness or is it someone influencing Wanda is it someone like toying with her mind or like, is this a, a coping mechanism because she has been poisoned or something? Or I don't know. It's, something is clearly going on. We've also established that this place is physical in nature. So it's not just in, in someone's mind. It's, it's an actual place uh, that has been isolated from the surrounding world. We also know that... Uh, the actors, the people in the show are not like the actors in Wanda's fantasy are maybe not all in on it. Like they, they are aware that stuff is weird. They're, they know, they realize that this is not the way it's supposed to be. Uh, we clearly saw that with Agnes and the way she talked to Herb. How she told Herb to like, no, don't. She gave him a look when, uh, in episode 3, when Vision was talking to them. Agnes gave Herb like a look, like, no, don't, you be quiet, or something to that effect. So, it's clear that cracks are forming in this perfect world, one that's created for herself. So, let's see where those cracks go. It's a missing town. Some sort of energy field. It was brilliant when the cops were standing there and said like about Westview doesn't exist and the sign and the sign is like right there next to him. Where is Geraldine? She's gone. She didn't belong here. <laughs> no, she clearly did not. Vision is interesting though, because vision has to be like Like Vision has to be a construct of wonders because Vision is dead. But even if Vision is like an illusion that Wanda has created, it's still Vision, and Vision is pretty smart, so he's like recognizing she has to constantly tamper with him in order to keep him from finding out the truth. <laughs> oh, she's all frazzled. Try reading to him, for some reason, Charles Darwin's The Descent of Man made him cry even hard. <laughs> yes, <laughs> understandable. No, you can't. You can't use your spells on them. Look, I think it's working. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Or maybe we just need some help. Oh. <laughs> there we go. But I heard your new little bundles of joy were on a sleep strut. Yeah, didn't you show up in the just perfect time? She's she's the most now that we know now that we know the story of, of Geraldine, aka Monica, Agnes is the most interesting one. Um uh, do you want me to take that again? Yeah she Agnes realizes. Babies. Should we just take it from the top? Yeah, should we just rewind and redo this scene? Let's let's let Agnes give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Agnes is like, do you, so do you want to redo this scene or should we just like? Ralph sprays it on me every night, but there's no taming this tiger. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Oh, blessed silence. 
Yes, so shush. Oh, what the hell? Oh, there we go. Kids. <laughs> I grow up so fast. We're approaching territory, more familiar territory. Making me think of, I might be completely wrong, but this is making me think kind of of uh, Full House, like like not on not just the intro sequence but like the whole the the whole opening sequence does maximov have an alias no. scarlet witch lagos and germany we all know how that turned out thanks jimmy <laughs> oh really you're just gonna ignore what she did during the infinity war I don't believe she has a political agenda or any inclination toward destruction. Monica, she's holding thousands of people hostage. And it could have been thousands more. I don't think most of them realize, though. It was the top secret location of the Vision's corpse. Oh, so it is physically Vision. But she is... Maximoff stormed our facility, stole the Vision's body, and resurrected him. Well, she, he's... He is not resurrected. He is not alive. But how did she even do it? Bring him back without the Mind Stone? She didn't. There's no way he is alive. You know, I don't miss the crying, but geez, Louise, did you have to learn to walk? <laughs> Got a hunch someone might pop over. Hi, kiddos! With exactly the item we were <laughs> yes isn't that suspicious well until you are at least <clears throat> wait no, now no, hang no, on there no, a no, minute no. You got the <laughs> problem solved <laughs> oh that was awesome So, Agnes, the kids, and Vision. <clears throat> but I can't guarantee the hex won't just mind wipe you as you go in. And the witch is casting hexes. Her powers came from an infinity stone, too, right? We are not talking about her. We. No. Yeah, that's a sensitive subject for Monica. Because she knew her, she knew Captain Marvel when she was a kid. And sets and wardrobe. What the? What kind of brainwave did she just have? Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh Are they bulletproof? Or what's she trying to prove? It's not an illusion. Wanda is rewriting reality, change things as they go into the hex. Ah, you called it the hex. Nice. <laughs> A Rolodex and a calendar all in one? What else can it do? Find me a wife? Oh, oh, Norm. Sword. Top secret communique. Maximus High levels, levels of radiation. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. None of it is real. No, he, he, he doesn't know. Please help me. <laughs> yes, he's free now. None of it is my own. It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, this is so awesome. If I send an email, where would I put the stamp? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is so awesome. It's Saturday. No, it's not. It's Monday. This morning was Saturday. Look, he just... He needed a no, Wanda needed to distract him. Sometimes your dad and I aren't on the same. <laughs> oh, there's trouble in paradise, huh? Because family is forever. Do you have a brother, Mom? Wrong subject. Hey, Sparky, what's up, boy? Something's scaring him. Is Pietro gonna show up? Wanda's framing it out of the shot. Just like all the jump cuts. Wanda decides what makes it onto her show. And yeah. I just want to talk. That's it. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Take the shot. Oh, you stupid idiot. This is not gonna be solved with force. You have to reason with her, or she will wreck your shit. <laughs> oh, good lord. Yeah, she's coming out to tell you to stay away. You can hardly blame us, Wanda. I think I can. This will be your only warning. Wanda, I didn't know the drones were armed. How? What could you possibly have to offer me? Therapy? I have what I want, and no one will ever take it from me again. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Ah, don't worry, he's sure to turn up. Your mom won't let him get far. Ma'am. <laughs> um. No, your mom won't let him get far. The urge to run from this feeling is powerful. <laughs> yeah, she has to reason with them because she can't control them. Six is dead. You can do that. <laughs> oh. She's God in her little, little universe. <laughs> because it's convenient, <laughs> and we can't reverse death, no matter how sad it makes us. Vision, though. Yeah, you're gonna have problems with vision now. I unearthed the man's suppressed personality and I spoke to him free of your oversight. <laughs> yeah, I did. You can't control me the way you do them. Except you can. Can't I? I'm going to bed! No! We're not done here! <laughs> Aware of what? Norma's a family! What the he has a family? All of this is for us. I don't know how any of this started in the first place. I think... Mm, it's wrong. I... It is wrong. I don't know if it's a case of split personality. Is it time for Agnes to show up? Who is at the door? Is it Monica? Wonder who is this? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, that's Pietro. That's bro. He's dead. He's really dead. Pietro? He was Quicksilver. Or, yeah, I mean, he was Quicksilver. <laughs> I mean, Pietro is Quicksilver. But that guy played Quicksilver. That guy played Quicksilver in um, X-Men Days of Future Past. That's, that's who he is. So it is, it is consistent. It is still Quicksilver. But it's it's the wrong Quicksilver. It's not the the guy. I don't know the actor who played him in um, Age of Ultron. But it's Quicksilver. It's just not Pietro Maximoff. I don't know, man. This is this is so freaky and it's so awesome. <sighs> this is a really really good show. It's very very enjoyable. So she is controlling all the plebs, so to speak. She's controlling all the normal people. But she didn't control 
Monica. She is not controlling Agnes. Agnes is special. Because Agnes is aware of what's going on. So Agnes is special. The twins are special. Because she can't control them. Like, she can do whatever she wants with Agnes. And, like, rewind and reshoot scenes and, like, change things around. But she can't control her the kids. She is losing control of Vision. Which is interesting. Because, yeah, like I said, like, he... She can reanimate... I don't know if she's reanimated him or if it's just, like, in... A facsimile of life that she's like just an illusion that she is animating, uh, or if it's actual reanimation that is she's actually brought him back. I don't know. I don't know. We're we're not. We can't be sure about that yet. <sighs> Either way, but it's still Vision, and he's smart. It was really cool when they read the email. Everyone together. That that was neat. So I wonder, like, yeah, it's it's really intriguing what's going on with Agnes. That's the most interesting part at, at the moment for me. How she's aware and playing along. And like, she's not really bothering to hide the fact that to Wanda that she is aware of what's going on. And of course, what did what did the bureaucrats do? Um. Uh, if it's power they can't control, they want to destroy it. Pathetic is what that is. And of course they try to kill her. And of course that ended extremely poorly for them. They made a point in this episode as well not to, to mention the fact that she has not earned her moniker yet. And if you like, I, I'm not... I haven't read a lot of Marvel, but I know enough to know that that she is Magneto's daughter in, in reality. Or in, in reality, I mean, it's all. But, like, canonically, she's supposed to be Magneto, the mutant, uh, his daughter. And her powers are not the result of uh, of tampering with an Infinity Stone. It's because she's a mutant. Uh, and her nickname is Scarlet Witch. And they're foreshadowing that with the hexes. With the, because it was hexagonal. So, and the hex and witches cast hexes, of course. So, and maybe that was part of it why when she entered, entered back into the anomaly, that it went red. Because she's the Scarlet Witch. So maybe that's why that's what that's about. I don't know. We'll see. It's clear that she's gonna have her official nickname after this show. That's that's for sure. What's not clear is that I mean she in the in the comics she's a bad guy. She started off as that in Age of Ultron and then joined the team and became an Avenger and like and stuff and I enjoyed that too. But so we don't know if she if this show is about setting her up to be a villain in the future, or if this show is just her arc as a villain, and they will deal with her. Like 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 one option is that at the end the ending of this turns her into a villain, and she's like. Screw you, people. The second option is that... Or the th second option is that she turns into a villain during this and goes from being, like, the hero to the villain and we have to fight her and beat her in this show. So it's like a complete arc from hero to villain in the, in, in the show itself. And the third option is that she comes around and can be reasoned with and uh, stops doing it and makes amends. That's the three options, I guess. And no matter which option you pick, 
force is not gonna be the solution to this. There is no way. Because the only one, the only one who, like so far in the show, so far in the show, the only one who can challenge her is Vision. <laughs> and he's dead. Or is he? That's in, um, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens next though. This show is really, really good. I'm loving the the approach. It's yeah, it, it is. I mean, it is a really brave approach to storytelling because it demands more from your audience. And the whole doing a, a like a, a greatest hits of sitcoms and the fact that we are watch the thing we're watching. Like when we're watching the sitcom part is that it's an actual sitcom, that it's edited, that it's like, yeah, she was supposed to go to bed because the, like, yeah, I'm, oh, I can't control it. I'm going to bed. And then like credits are rolling, like the episode is over. And, but Vision proved that you're not in control of everything. Yeah, this is, this is interesting. And I can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. But we're going to have to wait a week for that. So until then, like the video if you enjoyed it. Do leave me a comment. Because this show needs to be discussed, I think. This is a very good discussion starter, this show. It's very, very interesting. Subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. And with that said, I'm done. This has been Grim Reactions. I've been Eric. I thank you very, very much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.